Hello everyone, this is Jeff from Jeff's DIY. For my first project, I'm going to show you how to make a miter table, help you make those long cuts in your shop. You'll need a few tools for this project. Of course, you'll need your miter saw, you'll need a drill, a circular saw, Craig jig, a countersink bit, square and tape measure, a jack plane is recommended, and some clamps. Also, you'll need a sheet of pine plywood, Cut it in half at the store. One pine one by six, some one inch Craig screws, and some two inch drywall screws. First, get your miter saw on top of the table so you can measure the living heck out of it. Measure the width and the length. Keep those measurements handy. Mark your plywood at six feet and make the cut. I like to set up a fence when I'm using a circular saw and square it off. It makes things a little bit easier. Using your miter saw as a guide, figure out how wide it needs to be. Keep it at least uh, one to two inches wider than the saw itself, so you have something to screw into. Then set up your fence and make the cut along the length of this plywood. Now that the plywood's cut, you need to make your spacers, and you need to figure out how tall they need to be. So to do that, put a sheet of plywood next to your saw and measure the distance from there to the top of the bed. That'll tell you exactly how tall the, the spacers need to be. Next you want to cut your spacers. You'll need five of them and they want to be the exact same width of the miter table. 17 inches in my case. With your five spacers cut, you now need to bring them down to the proper height. Using that measurement, make them slightly oversized. Cut them on a band saw or a table saw. Mark three lines for your pocket holes, adjust your Craig jig to half inch, and drill the holes in all five of the spacers. Attach your first spacer to the far right hand side of the table in the bottom, and then put another spacer in about a foot away. Cut one of your plywood strips to fit over the top. Use a jack plane to smooth out the top of your spacers and make sure that it's flush once it has the plywood on top. Then get your drill and your countersink bit and attach the top. Then put your miter saw back on the table and put a spacer right flush up against it. This makes it so the saw won't really have much room to move once we attach everything together. Attach your second to last spacer to the far left hand side of the table. Then put your final one in the middle. Measure and cut your final top piece. Just like before, dry fit the final piece and check for flushness. If you're like me, you probably have to smooth it down a few times with a jack plane. Entering the home stretch now. Put the final counter piece on top with your screws. I like to use this little drill bit that is actually has a countersink, it has a drill, and if you flip it over, it has a Phillips head. So you can do everything you need to do without rechucking at all. It really saves some time here. Finally, add a couple blocks of wood to keep your saw locked into place. You've done it. Bask in the glory that is your new miter table. For more information on this project and many others, check out my website at jeffsdiy.com. Thanks for watching.